Hello guys, uh, my name is Fernando Dharma Saputra and welcome to my vlog and welcome to Jakarta. So today I'm with my sister here and we're going to Monas. Uh, we're going to Monas by foot because it's uh, we cannot find flooding. any yeah it's flooding it's flooding yeah. look at the river right there its speed is real fast and we're gonna drown real fast too we're here right now and Ah, uh, where's where's the monas? I cannot see. Yeah, somewhere around there. The monas. Okay. So we just we'll just get there right now. Let's go. <laughs> So, before we get into the building, I want to talk a little bit about the flood that we're facing while we're getting through here. So, we're currently facing a phenomenon that occurs annually to Jakarta. It is caused by uh, the heavy rain that usually starts from December towards March. And because of our drainage system is not really good, it causes flood. And also, the most important thing is that the citizens are not really aware to throw trash correctly into the trash bin the trash bin right here for instance we have we have a hang on hang on we have a classic right here you you need to learn how to throw the trash correctly it's like this perfect so please to all of the citizens throw rubbish correctly okay uh, and also bottles are not organic it should be non-organic, but yeah, you know, whatever. The National Monument right behind me is a 433 feet tall tower located in the Merdeka Square, Central Jakarta, symbolizing the fight for Indonesia. It is the National Monument of Republic of Indonesia, built to commemorate the struggle for Indonesian independence. Alright guys, enough with the theories, I'm now going to tell you five reasons why you have to go to the National Monument of Indonesia. Let's go! The first reason, no Indonesia. Learn about Indonesia, basically everything about Indonesia from here, starting from the prehistoric era until the independence era. There is a museum right below this building and we'll see if we can take a picture or maybe a little bit of footage about it. Let's go! Alright, so this huge underground museum has a very good diorama of the history of Indonesian independence. Every four sides of the building, crazy, right? It's very cool. And the good thing is that the explanations are bilingual. So for example, this one right here is Indonesian, Muhammadiyah, 18 November 1912. And this is the English, Muhammadiyah, November 18. 1912 so for you who doesn't understand Indonesian you can read the English if you don't understand the English you can read Indonesian if you don't understand both then just look at the diorama it's, it's very cool right guys if you're thirsty and running out of water down here there's a vending machine how cool is that I don't even know how to use this thing I am now at the independence room and we're going to listen to our first president Sukarno's sound of proclamation and it's very awesome The independence room is open every one hour and right there you can listen to the sound of our first president Sukarno proclamating the independence for Indonesia. 
right at the independence room also lies the proclamation script that was typed by Sayuti Malik originally. Guys, there are three points that you can visit here in Monas. The first one is the museum, the Chawan, and the very top is the Punjab. Right where I'm standing here is I'm at the Chawan. If you can see, we can see a lot of few, very good few around here. You can see right there. If you can make it to the very top of the National Monument building, you can see a very good view of Jakarta city. And they say that to the north you can see Mount Salak at Bogor and to the south you can see the islands of Indonesia. But unfortunately I can't make it to the top because the tickets are booked. It's running out. Eating foods. They're eating foods and drinking waters. Look at all of this food. You know what? I don't even know what I'm going to eat. Hey sis, do you know how to ride a bike? No. I don't know how to ride a bike too. That's why we have to learn. And the last one is... It's cool. Yeah, for real, it's very cool. Like, you see, there's so many people out here. Because it's just very good to be here. And that's why you should come here too. I say, visit, and trust me, it's worth it. Okay, 